Allow no matter what your faults have been. Already she was creating the family of God. Say the family of God. I'm going to give you five characteristics of the family of God. Mary the mother Mary said what Mary meant to me. To walk with Jesus. And she was there at the cross. And most men had fled. God raised up two rich men. Nicodemus from the political sanitary who brought 80 pounds of aloe and myrrh for Jesus' honorable burial. Mary couldn't have afforded it. It's very costly. But Jesus got a right royal burial. And Joseph of Arimathea, another rich man, politically influential, offered the garden too. And when you go to Israel, you will see just outside the eastern gate of Jerusalem, Golgotha, the face of a skull. Google it and see, you will actually see the face. It looks like the face of a skull. In fact, there are two faces. And that rock is about a coconut tree high. Jesus was named with the two thieves at the bottom of it. And within walking distance where you can carry a corpse, there is a tomb that they have excavated to first century depth. You know, in geological excavations, archaeological excavations, you can get the depth by the pottery and the coins. And you can, uh, as you go through the strata, you can say 10th century, 9th century, 8th century and 1st century. It can be that precise. And at the first century level of excavation, there is a garden too, where one could walk in. And it has a wine vat that tells, the size of the wine vat tells you that garden might have been about five acres. That's how you, you know archaeologically. So the Bible story is all true. When you know some, some details are true, of the natural and the historically verifiable, we know the historically unverifiable but supernatural ones also must be true. That's how we know. The gospel stories are thoroughly true. That strengthens our faith. So Mary took Mary of Magdala under her wings and told her, your enemy is going to be good. That's what wasted lives live want to listen. Today, the younger generation go through the vicissitudes that Mary of Magdala went through because of different other connotations and combinations. And they need to hear a story at the beginning. Your end is going to be better than the beginning. Shall we say to our neighbor, your end is going to be better than the beginning. This is the story we have to tell anybody. Jesus is the author and the perfect. Starting, it's guaranteed he will finish it is the best insurance to have. You start it, he will complete it. In spite of our failures, fragilities, frailties, foibles, feebleness, he will fulfill it. What a guarantee. So we cling to the old on the cross and we cling to Jesus. But on the cross, he was still saving people. He was saving his brothers, he was saving his cousins, he was saving his aunt who had been unbelieving so far. He was saving the centurion. He was saving the thief. Ever the savior. Saving me ever the savior. This is why, beloved, we cannot be Christians without having the heart of Christ that wants to save one's soul. Give the opportunity. Draw the bridge illustration. How the cross works every day. I do this every day. I can't go to sleep without telling someone about Jesus Christ. If I have any brilliance, long ago I said, it belongs to tell the greatest story ever. How are you consecrating your heart today? Will the cross be all my need meets all his riches? I'm asking for a new definition of glory. All my need means all is glory. Mary told Mary of Magdala, don't lose heart, I'm praying for you. When temptations come back, I'm praying for you. Out of sight, I'm praying for you. 
Mary told Mary of Magdala, I am secure. I have no competition with you. And the love of Jesus is not carnal but spiritual. And his presence will not only save you, will sanctify you. Hebrews 2 verse 11. The captain of salvation with our born again experience he has sanctified which means he has set us apart and every organ in our body our eyes our ears our tongue every organ he has sanctified for holiness and for divine help there are two sides of the same coin may the God of peace sanctify you only in spirit soul and body one atonement, two dividends. Same with you. Say one atonement, two dividends. Salvation for soul, health for the body. What more can be asked? And the worship team. On that day, Hades was defeated, paradise is open. There were two helpers, Simon the Cyrene carried the physical cross, perspiration, save me perspiration. John kept company with Jesus at the cross, inspiration, serve him one way or the other, perspiration or inspiration, but please serve him. This is the whole duty of man, Solomon after all his meanderings and wanderings and peregrination said, this is the whole duty of man. That's how Ecclesiastes 12 ends up, is to serve God. 